Question number four begins with a reading, and the computer is either going to give you 45 or 50 seconds to complete it. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to listen to a lecture, and it usually lasts about 120 seconds, anywhere from a minute and a half to two and a half minutes, with an average around two. Then once this lecture finishes, you get a question that asks you about what you read and heard. Then after that question, you get 30 seconds to prepare your answer. So you get to look over your notes, think about what you're going to say. And then the computer starts to record you for 60 seconds. So in 60 seconds, you're responsible for giving a clear speech that answers the question. This is what you're going to see on the computer screen. You're going to see a title. So you're also going to see an article. Now this article is basically just one paragraph and it's going to be made of about a hundred words. So again, the computer is going to give you 45 or 50 seconds to read this and understand it. What you want to do is you want to have these two letters in your scratch paper. So below this blue line is exactly what you want to have in your scratch paper before you get started. Now the T stands for the title, which is the topic, the focus of the reading. The D stands for definition, which actually will be found in the article. So what I want you to understand is that the title introduces you to the focus of the entire question. What are we learning about? Maybe it's something like uh, camouflage. So that's maybe a word that we're unfamiliar with, which might be and will usually be the case. Now the article is going to provide you with a hundred word definition. So within this paragraph, you're going to see a few sentences that basically describe and define what the title is, in our case, Camouflage. So your responsibility in 45 seconds is to quickly write down the title because this is going to disappear and you're never going to see it again and you have to mention it in your speech. So you write down the title exactly as you see it. Now, you want to be able to read this carefully in 45 seconds. Understand it and write down a summary of it. Understanding that it's a definition of the title. Now, what do we expect to hear? About a 120 second lecture of a story that illustrates that. So it'll be something like this. So the lecture starts with, okay class, today we're going to look at the frog. And we're going to look at a specific kind of frog that lives in the Amazon rainforest. And this frog has green skin. And it lives in an environment where there's a lot of green grass. So the animals that fly around and try to eat the frog can't find it because it is hidden by its green color because it looks like the green grass around it. So that was a quick lecture. I don't know if that was 100% clear. But I just wanted you to see the basic concept. It may be a difficult question, but if you understand that structure, it can be a lot simpler because you always know what to expect. You read the title, you look at the article, you know you get a definition, write down one sentence that defines it best. Then you know in the lecture, if you study that definition clearly, you can expect what you're going to hear, a specific story that gives you an example of the definition. Now, here are a couple points on taking notes. The first thing that you notice is that we've added the letter E to the T and D for topic definition example. And that's of course for your notes on the lecture. So that way you see the structure. When you write down notes, there are some very important things that we have to do. The first thing is that you don't want to write down everything you hear. You want to write down the key words that help you understand the idea and help you to remember it when you have to deliver your speech. The question is, I think, the easiest and simplest part overall, because it's almost always the same. It's going to basically ask you, using the example provided in the lecture, explain the title of the article. So these three circles organize your notes and let you clearly see the structure so that you can speak clearly and effectively. So the first circle is around the title all the words that deal with the title. The next circle deals with all the words that you wrote down that define the title. And of course, the last circle goes around all the words that present the example in your notes. So if you want to make sure that you do well, look at your notes before you start speaking. If you see three clear circles, 
then you did a good job in organizing it. Now, you might be wondering what these black lines mean. Well, here's something very important to understand. Question number four doesn't test your ability to say everything you heard, because it's impossible. Remember, you not only have an article to briefly explain, but you have a lecture to explain. That was two minutes. So a native speaker took two minutes to explain it. It's pretty crazy to think that you can do it in 60 seconds. So what this is testing you on is your ability to see the relationship, which now you understand, topic definition and example, and also to explain the major points that show the relationship. So what you have to do in these 30 seconds, which I know is tough, but it's what we need to do, is we have to cross out unimportant details in our notes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mention the title, the article. So the first circle, that information we say here. The article is about, and just repeat the title. Then you go ahead and you say that you understand that the passage, the article, defined that topic. So how do you do that? Which the passage defines as, and then say what you circled in the second circle. Then the professor provides an example of, now, what was this an example of? When I talked to you, I gave you the example of a story about a frog, right? So you'd say, the professor provides an example of a frog to illustrate this. So you just want one or two words in here really quick to provide this nice structural sentence. Now, after that is the most important part of your speech. That's where you repeat all of the details you can, the important information about the lecture. And really simple, you either say he or she states that and then you explain everything that you can, the best you can. Now here's a powerful last sentence to show a conclusion, a conclusive idea that restates the structure and provides the person grading you with a powerful sentence to grade you by. And so, this example clearly illustrates whatever the topic is. So in our case, it would be camouflage, right? Now. The conclusion isn't essential, but it leaves your essay, I'm sorry, your speech, it finishes it in a very strong way. And it also makes sure that when you practice, you control your time effectively. You want to always be able to say the conclusion when you finish. Now, how do you do this in the 60 seconds? Well, the most important thing to realize is, again, the test counts down from 60. So what you want to do is you want to finish these first three, sec three sentences in about 43 seconds. That makes sure that you have enough time to explain the lecture. That's the important part. Now, how are you going to do that? Memorize them. Be comfortable with them. Say them fluently and fluidly. Now, you want to spend about 40 seconds on the lecture. That's a lot of time. So we've got to practice our comprehension, our listening ability, taking notes so we can say it. But actually, if you take a lot of notes, that time passes by quickly. So don't forget. Don't say what you crossed out. Now, you want to finish this in about three seconds so you have enough time to conclude. We all know the saying, practice makes perfect, or at least I hope we do. So click on the link below if you're on YouTube. Go ahead, go to the class, and if you're in my class right now, make sure to read through the information, five more pages of detail to help you master this question. And practice using the link below. Record your answers on VoxoPop, really easy and then wait for my feedback, which will be a few days after you record. Try it again and again, and you're really going to do well on this question. If you guys need more help, don't forget, click on the About Our Products link on my site, and what you're going to do is you're going to see all kinds of options. You can see all the videos, longer videos with more detailed explanations, more practice as much as you need, and a guarantee that if you're out there struggling to earn a higher score, let's say a 26 in the speaking section, we have guaranteed programs that promise you results. I'll help you until you get your score.